G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and for today's video we're taking you through the server side JavaScript function to pass JSON, showing you how it works and how you can use it inside of your emails to retrieve string JSON functions and pass them into usable JSON objects. So we'll start off on the pass JSON documentation page, which you can find on the Marketing Cloud documentation under programmatic languages, server side JavaScript, and under our server side JavaScript syntax. We'll find our platform functions, utility functions, and then we'll find our pass JSON function. Now the pass JSON function allows us to take a string representation of a JSON object and turn it into a JSON object. We can see here in our example code, we have a single JSON name value pair stored as a string value as shown by these single quotation marks. We can take that value stored as str and then run the platform function pass JSON function over the str variable creating the object, the JSON object, which we can then traverse. We then set the value of that object's name of prop one, this one here, taking the value, there it is there, and storing that value as val. We can then print out that value. So let's try it out. I can copy that code, go into my cloud page, which I have here as a content block reference onto a cloud page. I can paste out my information. What I will also do is print out what I want because right now there is no output of this variable. So I can jump into my documentation, go down to my platform functions and down to my utilities, uh, sorry, client browser and write and get my platform right. It is here. So I'll use my platform write function to write out the value of val. This should then print out that value onto my page. So let's try it out. The value I'm expecting to see is prop val because prop val is the value of a name prop one inside of the object that we passed from string as declared here by this address. So let's try it out. I'll go save and refresh. There we are, prop val. So let's try a more exciting JSON object. If we jump over to the AMP script build row set from JSON function, we can find a really good example of a multi objected JSON object. You can see for our flights object there is three ordinals within. Let's now copy this flight object JSON, jump it into our marketing cloud content block, and let's replace this section here with our new JSON. Now one thing to be aware of is that the JSON object here as a string does not traverse multi rows properly. So we have to go and clean up this code to make sure it all appears on one single row of our code. It can't be split over multiple lines. So if we go through and clean this up just like this, we now ensure that line two is where the text starts and stops, all within line two. With that done, we should be able to print out this entire string value or uh, deconstruct it and print out a value from it. So to start with, let's make sure we can actually print out a value. I'll get my platform response right, and let's write out the value of this string to begin with. So I'll cut that out and let's try and print out the string to make sure it works. We'll go save and refresh. Perfect, the string works, here is our JSON string. Well, let's now jump back and return our code. Let's now try and pass this object. So we can write it out, let's pass it. We're going to pass this object, this string into a JSON object. And now you can try and traverse the object. Well, we can try and traverse the object by going object, of course, what we've called it. But now we have to start using addresses within that JSON object. And the first address T we have to go through is the flight. As we saw from our object, inside this object, the first object is flight. Within the flights is these three objects, these three ordinals. So let's try and return back IND, which is the first value of origin in the first ordinal under the flights section. So we we'll jump into our code. Let's now go object followed by flights. We want the first object or the zeroth ordinal. We're then going to return back the origin of IND in our name value pair. We'll store that as a val, and that val will then write out. So hopefully we have the value of IND printing out on the page now. So let's try it out. We'll save our content block and go refresh. And there we go, IND. Let's now jump back down and try a different value. How will we try to return back LAX, which is the dest of the second object? So we'll get dest of the second object, go through and get dest of the ordinal number one, the second object. Let's try that out. Go save and refresh. And there's LEX. Perfect. 
So as you can see, the platform function pass JSON allows you to use server-side JavaScript to take a string value, which contains a JSON object, pass it, and then use it as an actual JSON object to traverse, address, and print out values from. Now the two main use cases you'll use this for in Marketing Cloud is firstly on a returned content section from an API REST call. You'll often have the response coming through as a string, then you have to pass that string to return those values. So any REST API calls you make in server-side JavaScript, you'll often have to use this pass JSON function. The second most common use case I see is also to retrieve JSON objects stored as a string inside of a data extension. Now this may occur when you have something like a journey, which is API triggered, for things like your shopping cart abandonment. You may have a JSON object stored as string as your shopping cart contents. That string may have all the SKUs and quantities of the items that you had in your shopping cart, which means inside the email, you can pass this JSON string into a JSON object and then cycle through each of the items inside that JSON object to return back the SKUs to then populate with personalization such as that SKU's name, the photo, the price, and so on. Now, one thing to mention is while the pass JSON function allows you to turn a string into a JSON object, the reverse is also possible. You can use the stringify to turn any object into a string. This way you can reverse your treatment, turning your JSON object back into a string, which you'll have to do if you want to, for example, restore that JSON object back into a new data extension. So there you have it, a quick intro into the pass JSON and stringify functions in server-side JavaScript, allowing you to turn your JSON as a string value into a JSON object and back into a string. Hope you found this video useful, and if you have, then please let me know in the comments below and a big thumbs up on the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.